In this video, I'll show you how to create a Magento 2 module controller route in under 60 seconds. Are you sick of typing in Magento 2? I don't know about you, but I'd rather be solving problems rather than worrying about typing all day long. Uh, the code we type is prone to errors and typos and invalid classes and so on. So I came up with Beeline. It's a much better way to generate boilerplate code and change your focus to shipping rather than typing. Beeline saves a ton of time. You have no clue how much time I've saved since I created this tool. Let's take creating a module, route, and controller. This is usually a pretty arduous task for such a simple feat. I just want text displayed on the screen. Let's do this. I'll give myself one minute to write this code. I need to create a module so Magento knows our code and route exists. I need to create a route to let it know what request to create a response for. And I need to create a controller, which is what to do once the request is intercepted. I'll start with a completely blank canvas of Magento 2. This is just a completely vanilla install with an empty app code directory. So let's start this timer and write this code. First, I will create a new file in folder at Mark Schust slash my module and I'll create a file for the registration.php file. And I'll open up my PHP tag and just start typing M2 registration. It's done. Next, I will create a file at Etsy slash module.xml. I'll just type M2 module. It's done. And next, I will create a route. This will go at front end slash routes.xml. And I will just start typing M2 routes. And this will be named my foo. Next, I will finally create this controller at controller slash index slash index.php. I will open up this PHP tag to start typing M2 controller. We will go with the JSON and update this to my foo and my bar. Let's stop our timer. And we also, of course, have to enable this module. Let's do that by running bin slash magento module enable mark schust underscore my module, hit enter. And after that module is created, we can run bin slash magento setup upgrade. This will, of course, clear the generated classes and register our module with Magento. After that's done, let's go to the front of our site and refresh the page. And after that initial cache has been loaded, let's go to our domain and our route at slash my foo, hit enter and we have our JSON response. Wow, I don't know about you, but I just saved so much time. Now let's look at the code that was generated for us with Beeline. Let's take a quick look back at the registration.php file. And I don't know about you, but I am sick and tired of typing this file. It's the same thing with every single module we create, with the exception being this string, which is the name of our module. This is pulled from our vendor name and module name. So it actually pulls out the name of our directory structure to create this file. It's pretty great. Next is our module.xml file. Again, this is a file we type with every single Magento module. And if we scroll over, we have this long no namespace schema location value. And it's easy to type something wrong or get one of these colons or slashes messed up. So Beeline just does this for you automatically. Next is the routes.xml file. Same thing, we have that long no namespace schema location all typed up out for us at this routes XSD. And we have a standard router. So you notice when I typed it, it actually asked me for the type of router I'd like to create. So if we go ahead and delete this and just start typing M2 routes, we have a drop down and it prompts us for the router to use. So if I was creating a CMS router, I could just select that and hit enter and it automatically goes to the front name. And also when I type this front name, I could type my name. Notice how the ID also auto changes. So if I actually have a front name with a dash, it will also rewrite it to have an underscore, which is the format that these route IDs are expected to be in. And again, the name of our module is pulled into this module name 
attribute. So that's all done for us. No reason to have any typos for these files. And finally, let's look at our controller. This is where we probably saved the most amount of time with Beeline because it generates all this boilerplate code for us, including the constructor, dependency injection variables, and the namespace and includes. Now this is returning a JSON object. So we can go ahead and remove this and let's instead write a standard controller. We could do that by opening a PHP tag and then typing M2 controller and going down to that keyword and a full page response is generated for us. And notice that we don't have to worry about what type of object we are returning. Beeline just takes care of it for us. If you want to learn more about Beeline, go to m.academy and click the Beeline link at the top of the site. And when you scroll down, you'll see a block of code that tells you all of the keywords that are available for Beeline. This is by far the most extensive Magento code generator that exists out there and there are more added every day. I hope you liked this video and found out how much time Beeline can save for you. And I hope you're just ready to save a ton of time with typing in Magento 2. And as always, keep coding.